Boonville looked to continue its strong season tonight. The Pirates just missed out on the one seed, so instead of a bye week, they had a home game. Boonville hosting Fulton. The Hornets still searching for their first win of the year. Fulton quarterback Walker Goring starts it out, rolling out, looking deep, making something happen, but Boonville's Jackson Johns. Great name, great pick. Pirates on offense, running back Dewan Lomax, the 15-yard score. Plus the two-point conversion puts the Pirates up 8-0. Hornets brought the sting, though. Goring returns the favor 15 yards himself. Hornets within one 7-6 ball game, but Boonville would strike back as the half comes to a close. Colby Caton takes it in from three yards out. The Pirates will go into the half up by seven, but they go on to win it 40-20. to It was the Mud Bowl. District edition in Eldon tonight. The Mustangs in Southern Boone kicking off Class 3, District 5 action. Eldon opening drive. Quarterback Hunter Hess decides to run with it. Nice. Breaking couple tackles. Getting Eldon on the move. Later in the drive, Mustangs looking to convert on third down, but Hess pass is broken up. Great defense from Southern Boone. Austin Evans forcing the Mustang punts. Eagles opening drive now. Hayden Steelman. Hands it off to Jacob Bowles. Slipping between tackles. He is off to the races. The mud on his jersey not slowing him down. Actually makes him go faster. It's that secret stuff. Southern Moon takes the lead. Next, Eldon Drive. We love special teams here, so let's give some love. Carter Salter kicks it deep to Dallas Hardy. Hesitates for a minute. Makes a defender miss. And look at him go. Number two says deuces. Hardy. Takes the kickoff, and he is gone. Shout out special teams. 8-7, Eldon out in front after the two-point try. Second quarter, Eldon with another nice run. This time it's Mason Kirkweg. Takes it up the sideline for the long gain. Eldon gets the victory. 36-13 will play Mexico next Friday. Osage coming off a loss, hoping to bounce back against Dylan Hare and the Blair Oaks Falcons. Looking to stay undefeated at home. First quarter, Dylan Hare capitalizing on some good field position. Runs it in for the early score. Falcons out to the early lead. Dylan Hare back to pass again. This time to Will Libert. But wait, fumble! Hunter Graber forces it. But it was also all Falcons after this as they took the game by the horns. That guy's head definitely looked warm under that thing. Hare stayed hot as well. He goes deep to Zach Harrigan. And as Zach Boetta would say, trademark it. Blair Oaks wins big, 53-0. Moberly falls to Warrington, 44-33. Kirksville beats Marshall, 35-12. Holden shuts out for sales, 14-0. Centralia beats Montgomery County, 26-6. The Panthers will play Hallsville, undefeated. That's next week. Making all over Clark County, 42-6. South Callaway gets past Tipton, 38-14. West Tran a winner, 29-12 over Salisbury. Two programs on the rise collided tonight in Harrisburg. Bulldogs looking to build off their 7-2 regular season. Harrisburg hosting Tolton. The Blazers five wins the most for the program since 2017. So lots to look forward to for both these programs. But facing off tonight, third quarter, it's quarterback Jonah Liebeck brown to running back Braden Wilmoth. Gets some nice yardage there. Still on offense, but not for long. As check out the defense from Harrisburg's Jace Carr had himself a game on defense. Jumping up for the INT. Harrisburg looking to turn the tables. And we're, this is not a replay, folks. As a great hit there, forces another interception. Jace Carr once again, this time bringing it back even further. Harrisburg wins it 28 to 16. California head coach Seth Womack. And the Pintos facing North Callaway. The winner gets Bowling Green next Friday. Third quarter, Pintos already up 28-0. Kalen Kruger looking to throw, but he keeps it himself. Why not? Breaks a couple tackles. Finally goes down. Later in the drive, Kruger got it done on the ground. Now he gets it done through the air. Trevor Myers. Pintos. On top, 35-0 at that point. Fourth quarter, North Callaway looking to Get something going on offense. Trevor Ray finds some space, but it would not be enough. California wins a big 35 
to eight. No rain can stop tonight's game at Fayette. First quarter, quarterback Ben Wells hands it off to who else? The big guy, the play of the week winner, Garen Vroman. They don't even want to tackle. They don't even want to try to tackle this guy. I wouldn't want to tackle him either. Number two, deuces. Once again, great night for number twos out there. Fayette up 20 to eight. Slater trying to get tricky. You got to get tricky if you want to beat this tough Fayette squad, but not this time. As Avery Powell forces him out for a tackle for loss. Fayette once again with the ball on offense as Wells, little pass to his guy, Roman, and fumble, but it goes out of bounds. Fayette wins big 66 to 24. Monroe City crushes Van Farr 70 to 16. Mark Twain beats Principia via the forfeit. Russellville goes down to Sweet Springs 55-29. Highland shuts out Paris 60 nothing. Cole Camp over Lincoln 22-14. Bowling Green bowls over MMA. 70 to 0. St. James with the upset, beating St. Clair 13 to 12.